Yeah, hey, good day there. Wrench Gear here. And uh, I thought today I'm going to do a quick one on this here. Put these, uh, I put these uh, summer tires on here about uh, maybe two weeks ago or so on the truck. And um, I thought I'm going to give these uh, give these wheel nuts here um, a check with the, uh, with the torque wrench here and make sure these things are all good so that they're not trying to back off or anything. So I thought, uh, I threw the torque wrench on, I'm going to give them all a, a quick check. And I thought, you know, it's been a long time since I've checked this torque wrench for accuracy. So uh, I thought I'm going to give it a quick check today and um, and do an adjustment, do a calibration on, uh, on that torque wrench to see how it's going. So let me show you how I go about doing this. Okay, so the process we're going to use here today is uh, we're going to hang... A specified amount of weight off of the handle here and uh, we're gonna figure out using a math calculation uh, by how much weight we're hanging off of there exactly where this thing should click wherever the clicking mechanism uh, is up inside there and um, we're gonna see how close it is so honestly um, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna measure this thing here for about I'm gonna aim for the 80 to 90 foot pounds range, foot pounds, pounds feet, whatever, tomato, tomato, potato, whatever, apples and oranges, fit pounds or pound feet. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be aiming for there. And you know what? If I'm if I'm off a pound or two, one way or another, um, you know what? I'm not building a race engine for Tony Stewart or for John Force or anybody like that. Don Prudhomme. Uh, I'm putting wheels on a car, so. Um, I'm going to go for the mid range around 80 to 90 because that's where most, uh, you know, like Toyotas and Hondas and Hyundais and, you know, whatever all else, they're all around in that 80 range. So I don't often torque things down at 20 pounds. And other than this truck, this truck gets torqued to 150. But other than that, you know, I do a couple of GMC canyons and stuff. They go like 140, whatever. But, uh, I'm usually in around the 80, 90 foot pound mark. So I'm going to be aiming for that today just to see the accuracy there. If it's off a little bit higher or lower, like at the top end of the range of the torque wrench or, or uh, down to the bottom, I'm not going to be too concerned about that. So, all right, let's, uh, let's figure out how much of weight we're going to hang off the back of this handle here. We're going to aim for the middle of the handle. Not that I just said the back, but we're going to aim for the middle of it. And uh, we're going to see where this thing is going to click over. All right, so here's your math calculation. Very easy, don't get overwhelmed by it. Just gonna plug numbers in here and that's it. So we're gonna have the weight of a pail, I'm gonna hang a pail off of the handle of that torque wrench. So we're gonna have the weight of the pail and that's gonna be uh, in pounds. Oh, I need to pen that right, come on baby. In pounds, LBS for pounds, in pounds and you're gonna Multiply that by the length of the handle of your torque wrench, and we're going to figure that out in a second. And then you're going to come up with that number. You're going to divide that number by 12, and that's going to equal where uh, that's going to equal the uh, the actual um, amount of uh, foot pounds where the torque wrench should snap over. All right, so we're going to you know uh, hopefully this is going to make some sense. So. Let's start plugging some of these numbers in there. So we need the weight of the pail. So I got a scale here and uh, let's see if this thing's gonna turn on. Half the time it doesn't turn on, it makes me crazy. So I've done this before and I, I always know I'm aiming for about, uh, for about 40 pounds of weight to go in this pail, give or take. So I just got a bunch of old cast iron crap here. Got some rotors, got an old cast iron pulley off my air compressor when it blew up. I got a... Uh, Harmonic balancer out of a small block Chevy and another brake rotor. So we're going to put that all in there and we're going to weigh how much this thing here is. If that thing turns on, come on, baby. Time for a new one. Oh, Jesus, it's annoying. There it goes. Came on. Let it zero out. Okay, we're going to throw this bucket on there. And it's 40.2, 40.2. Let's do it once or twice just to see. Let it zero out. 
Oh, it's shut right off. Well, that's good for it. All right, this scale some days makes me crazy. 41. All right, well, 41, not 40.2. Let's go for 41. Do it again. 41. Do it again. 41.2. There, it's all over the place, man. 41. All right, let's go with 41. So we're going to use this, we're going to call this pail 41 pounds. So we're going to plug the 41 in here. Weight of the pail is 41 times the length of the handle in inches. So on a torque wrench handle, we're going to measure from the center of the square drive. So we're going to put it about here somewhere, center of the square drive. And we're gonna go down here. So we're gonna call it 24 inches. That's about the center of that handle. And uh, yeah, we're gonna call him 24. So that's gonna be uh, 24. And then the whole thing is divided by 12. And that number is gonna equal where this thing here should break, snap over. All right, so here we go with this stuff here. So 41 times 24 is uh, 984 uh, divided by 12 and that comes out to that comes out to a pen that doesn't write again i don't know what's wrong with that it comes out to 82 come on sucker what are you doing here you go 82 unbelievable throw that thing in the garbage 82 foot pounds all right 82 foot pounds so we're going to um, we're going to set the the uh, torque wrench to 82 foot pounds. We're going to hang it on that lug nut there, or, or put it on that lug nut on the truck, and we're going to uh, gently hang that pail onto the handle and see where it makes it go click. All right, here we go. All right, so we got this thing here set up to 82. Probably won't focus in on it. 82. Let me see, I gotta take my glasses off so I can see what's going on. There's the two, and there's the 80. 82. So we're gonna hang this on, we're gonna put this on that uh, on that wheel nut there, on that socket for the wheel nut. And we're gonna try and keep this handle um, reasonably horizontal. And I'm gonna hang that bucket on there. I'm gonna see where this thing is gonna snap over. Okay, reasonably horizontal there. So we're going to try this here now, we're going to see, put the handle of the bucket just about in the middle of the handle of that torque wrench, and I'm gently letting it down, and there, it snapped at 82, let's try that again, snapping at 82, we're going to give it a little bit more torque here, go to, go to 83. Try it at 83. Snapped at 83. Okay, snapping at 83. Set to 84. Just barely, just barely at 84. Try right, one more, 85. There, did not snap at 85. Let's try it again. Did not snap at 85. How much, how much does it take? Almost nothing. So it's probably at around 84. Takes a little bit of pressure there at 85. So 84 and uh, it snaps at 84, but it didn't, uh, it snapped at uh, 82. Obviously it'll snap at 81, but it went up to 84, did not snap at 85. So you know what, things off by two foot pounds. 
I don't think I'm too concerned about that. If you were going to do an adjustment on it, this uh, on this model, and I know a lot of them are different, whatever, on this model, you take off this here cap, and uh, in there is a uh, jam nut, and then you put a uh, you put an Allen key in here, and you give it a little bit of an adjustment, and you play with it up and down, and you do some more hanging a pail off there and whatever. But honestly, I'm happy with it at uh, at uh, at 84. I'm good with that. So anyway, that's how I go about checking this stuff, and uh, and I'm good. You know, a lot of times um, it's not uh, it's not necessarily how tight you make the stuff within reason, how tight you make it, it's more so that everything is drawn down uh, equally at the same amount of pressure. So, um, you know, head gaskets and stuff, they're all like that too. You know, if you're up or down a little bit, you know, if, again, you're not building a NASCAR motor, whatever, or something for F1, you're doing a lawnmower engine or whatever you're doing, or a small block Chevy, I don't know what you're doing, but you know, if they're not right on, it's not the end of the world but they do need to be uh, very close to each other, right on with each other, all those head bolts and crankshaft bolts and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, I'm off by two pounds. I'm not gonna sweat it on this one. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you got something a little bit out of this thing here. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe for me, please. Uh, make a comment, that all helps my little channel to grow. And, uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.